guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the March Polish Pickup. So if you don't know what Polish Pickup is, every month a ton of different indie makers get together and they base one polish a piece off a theme and this month's theme is album covers. So the pickup this month starts March 1st and it goes through March 4th on the Polish Pickup site which will be in the description box. I will also um, include site links and Instagram links to all of the makers that I'm sharing today. So we have eight polishes to look at today as well as a few extra things that people are contributing to the indie pickup which is uh, basically pretty much anything else. If makers uh, do body scrubs, lipsticks, makeup, jewelry, things like that, it is in the indie pickup which is on the same site as the polish pickup just under a different tab. So those will be available on the same dates. It is really early in the morning and I feel like I'm not making a whole lot of sense, so let's just go ahead and get started. So at first from Blush Lacquers, we have Iris. And Iris was inspired by the Goo Goo Dolls. This is described as a plummy brown base with shifting pink to purple to blue to green flakes and hollow flakes. Iris will retail for $11.50 and there is no cap. So this is a really beautiful combination. Um, these flakes that are in here, I feel like if you were just looking at it, don't belong. But when you put it on your nails, it's like magical. It's really, really beautiful, completely opaque in two to three coats. I did do two coats for my swatch photos. These little flecks that are in here also lie really nice and evenly across the nail. You don't really have to manipulate it to get it to where you want it to go, which I really appreciate. This one's going to dry down slightly textured, so you will want a good glossy top coat for that reason. Um, but nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove like a glitter. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of iris in a glossy top coat. So next from Colores to Carol, we have Superstar. And this is described as a silver holographic with red shimmer, hollow shreds, iridescent flakes, red hollow micro glitter, and black shreds. This was inspired by Lady Gaga. It will be available for $12.50 and there is no cap. So Superstar has another really good formula, very smooth and easy to use. It does take three coats to build up to complete opacity, but the red micro glitter that are in here make this really stand out for me. Um, it's not something I feel that everybody's going to notice, obviously. Um, they are tiny, but the combination of the red and the black with the hollow make it really Lady Gaga. You will want a glossy top coat to finish this off. It is a hollow, so the top coat is going to help that stand out once it's completely dry. And then again, in the sunlight, it will make it kind of more hollow. This one is going to take a little bit of scrubbing to remove. Those little red micro glitter do want to get all up in your cuticles. They did for me. And then the black shredded glitter as well is going to take a little bit of scrubbing. If you don't like the removal process of glitter, I would highly recommend a peel off face coat. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Superstar in a glossy top coat. So up next from KB Shimmer, we have The Kid. This was inspired by Prince, and it is described as a trithermal that's a deepened eggplant when cold, a grapey purple when warm, and a bright fuchsia when hot. This also contains purple to copper flakes as well as gold micro flakes. This will retail for $10, and there is no cap. So this one also has a really, really good formula. It's on the thicker side, but it's that thickness where it stays right where you put it, no running or pulling. It's very easy to manipulate. Completely opaque in two coats for me. Depending on your application, you might want to go in for a third coat, but I feel like that third coat would only benefit the fuchsia state. The flakes that are in here are really, really nice. This does dry down to a matte finish, so if you don't like that finish, you will want a glossy top coat for this. Nothing in here is going to dry texture, though, and nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of The Kid in a glossy top coat. So also from KB Shimmer uh, for March, we have a Raspberry Beret Sugar Scrub. So this will also retail for $10 and it was also inspired by Prince. And this has a scent of freshly picked berries. Guy, I can't even express how much I love this stuff. So first off, the smell is enough to make your mouth water. So there's that. But so secondly, I have had this container for... Uh, less than a week now and I've used it uh, every time every every day I've done my nails I've used it between swatches I've used it before baths 
Um, and what I really like is how big it is. So it's nine and a half fluid ounces for $10. This is a huge thing of sugar scrub. And with as frequently as I'm gonna use it, I will go through it much quicker than the average consumer would. Um, but I feel like this is still gonna last me at least a good three months or so. You only need the tiniest bit. You scrub it into your, into your hands or honestly all over your body if you really want to. Um, and it just makes it a nice exfoliated surface. So I highly recommend this sugar scrub. So next from Linby Designs, we have How Amusing. And this is described as a white base with micro hollow flakies of blue to purple to pink to red shimmer, ultra chrome chameleon flakies in blue to purple to pink to orange, as well as purple to blue to pink to gold. This was inspired by Muse. It will retail for $12 and there's no cap. So the formula on this is a little bit finicky. It is on the thicker side. You do kind of want to work in much thinner coats and build it up in three coats to opacity. Um, otherwise, there's so much happening in here that I feel like it can get a little bit chunky on nail for lack of better words. Um, so it does, you do have to kind of manipulate it to do what you want. Otherwise, built up, it is an absolutely stunning polish. You will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this off to hide any of that texture, but nothing in here surprisingly was difficult to remove. Um, there's a good amount of texture when it's dry, but most of it is due to all of the flakes that are in here. So the texture comes from all the flakes. The flakes aren't difficult to remove. It doesn't act like a glitter in that way. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of How Amusing and a glossy top coat. So also from Limby Designs, we have a chocolate covered strawberry tea blend sample. Um, so I actually have no information on this. I did a pretty thorough search online and I wasn't able to find any information on this. Um, I don't drink tea either. So um, I couldn't tell you how it tastes. I could tell you how it smells. I also can't tell you a price, a cap, anything of that sort. Um, if I find anything out after the video goes up, because I do pre-film this, that way when it's time to post, I am just ready to roll. If I find any other information on it, I will leave it in the description box. But this does smell like a chocolate covered strawberry if you used like dark chocolate, which is my preferred chocolate covered, nope, mm -mm. white chocolate is my preferred chocolate covered strawberry. But as far as actual chocolate goes, dark chocolate. But yeah, it smells really, really nice. So up next from Native War Paints, we have Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom. And this is described as a deep, dark blue jelly with red to green Aurora pigment. This was inspired by No Doubt. It is $13 with no cap. So this one is really, really beautiful on the nail. So when I was originally looking at it I thought it was a purple polish uh, you put it on your nails it's surprisingly like a deep navy blue this one has a beautiful formula completely opaque in three coats you do need all three coats to build that shimmer up depending on your application you could probably get away with two coats I do prefer the look of the blue at three this one is gonna dry down a little bit dull though so you will want a glossy top coat for that reason but nothing in here is gonna dry textured and nothing in here is gonna be difficult to remove so in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom in a glossy top coat. And then also from Native War Paints, we have Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom eyeshadow. It is a coordinating eyeshadow with the polish. So this is a loose eyeshadow. It is $7 with no cap, and it's described as a dark steely blue with tons of red shimmer and blue flecks. So I have... I, I am no good with loose eyeshadow. Half of these people are going to hate me because I can't properly review the Indie Pickup uh, products, but I am no good with loose eyeshadow. I feel like it gets everywhere. My cheeks are covered in eyeshadow. Um, so I have only used this on my hands. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to put it on my eyes yet, but as far as it going on my hands goes, it's not as intimidating as it seems. It does blend out really, really nicely. Um, I used it both with my finger and a brush just to see how it worked. The brush does blend it out much more. If you're that kind of person who sprays their makeup brushes, this will give like more of a pop of color. I'm not that person. I'm not very skilled in makeup. I do the same thing every day. I've got 
an entire uh, vanity full of makeup that I use maybe six products out of. So long story short, I'm not the person to talk to about makeup, but the eyeshadow itself is really, really pretty. Moving on to my brand, we have Feeling This, and this was inspired by Blink-182. This is described as a white curly base with baby blue and cotton candy pink micro glitter and blue and pink and black glitter. So this will retail for $12. There's a cap of 150 bottles available in the US and 25 bottles available in the UK. So the formula on this I believe is pretty good. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it does make it to where those glitters stay nice and suspended and do spread out evenly across the nail. This one is completely opaque and two coats for me. I don't see anybody needing three coats for this one. I did try to make that base a little bit more opaque, um, which in turn you do lose some of those glitters, uh, but I felt like you got enough of them with a more opaque base. This is going to dry extremely textured. You will want a nice, thick, glitter-eating, glossy top coat to finish this off. And most definitely a peel-off base coat if you don't like the glitter removal process. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of feeling this and a glossy top coat. So up next from Rogue Lacquer, we have On the Border. This was inspired by the Eagles. It's described as a creamy antique white packed with copper, gold, blue, and green ultra-chrome chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12.50 and there's a cap of 300 bottles available. So um, Rachel described this as a creamy white base. I would most definitely not say that. I would say my base is more of a like taupey gray kind of shade, uh, which with those flakes makes it stand out absolutely beautifully. Those flakes uh, bounce kind of off of this more neutral shade. I feel like if it was more of that white base, you would kind of lose the magical effect that these flakes give. So I like the base color of this. I don't think it is a creamy antique white. Besides the point, this does have a really good formula, completely opaque and three coats for me. Again, you do need all three of those coats to build this one up. Otherwise, if it was any more opaque, you would lose a good amount of the color that's coming out of those flakes. This one's going to dry down decently glossy on its own, but due to all of the larger flakes that are in here, you will want a glossy top coat to smooth out any of the texture that that creates. That being said, nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove, so in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of on the border and a glossy top coat. And last but certainly not least, from Sassy Pants Polish, we have Heartbeat next to mine, and this is inspired by Madonna. This is described as a pink curly base with matte and neon pink, orange, yellow, and black glitter. This will retail for $12, and there's no cap. So I really, really like the idea of this. It definitely reminds me of, like, the 80s style Madonna. I think she captured that absolutely perfectly. The formula on this does take a little bit of work. Um, those circle glitters don't want to cooperate too, too much, the larger ones anyway. Um, so you do have to manipulate them to kind of put them where you want them. This one does take two to three coats to be completely opaque. I stopped at two coats. I felt like uh, after trying to move the glitter around, I ended up with a good bit of polish on my nails after two coats. So I didn't want to thicken it anymore with a third coat and potentially hide my very hard work on the first two coats. That being said, if you work in nice thin coats, you might need to go in for three. This one is going to dry down a little bit textured, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off uh, due to those glitters. And also due to those glitters, you might want to peel off base coat if you don't like the glitter removal process because it is a little bit difficult to take off. All in all, she really captured the spirit of Madonna in this one. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Heartbeat next to mine and a glossy top coat. And guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes that I showed you today. Let me know what else you plan on picking up from the March polish pickup. I, once again, have an extended list of things that I want to purchase. Um, last month, I had so many polishes that I wanted, and I ended up with only a couple because, you know, things happen. This month, though, I am very prepared, and there's at least 12 on my list that I'm getting, and nobody can stop me but let me know what's on your pickup list for March. Also, let me know what your favorite from today's video was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time. Nap time.